His name has been Set, and Seth, and Sifitha, and his one true name is Sutet. The god of death is back on our screens. How exciting was that? Not only that, but Gabriel Wolf's voice as well. An iconic part of Sutet. The thing yeah. that makes him so great. And with a voice like that, you think he'd be perfect for audio. Oh wait, he is on audio. We're going he to be covering indeed. some of those stories for you here. Yeah, because while this is the first time in 48 years Gabriel Wolf has played the part for TV, he has been voicing him a couple of times over at Big Finish. Uh, once against the Seventh Doctor in the New Adventures of Bernice Summerfield, Volume 2, The Triumph of Sutek, which is this grand four-hour-long box set featuring Seventh Doctor Ace, Bernie Summerfield, Sutek, and those Asyron servicer robots, of course. But also, he's had a rematch against Tom Baker, the Fourth Doctor, in the Series 7 of the Fourth Doctor Adventures finale, Kill the Doctor and the Age of Sutek. So, you know, he's uh, flexed those vocal muscles a fair bit for this iconic voice of his that he played... Uh, once back in 1975 and has followed him ever since. I mean, there was a weird um, BBV faction paradox, uh, one called The Judgment of Sutek. So we don't talk about that. No, um, no, we're no, just we. here to talk about Big <laughs> Finish. <laughs> it's our bread and butter, isn't it? It, it is, it is. Uh, I mean, it's funny thinking how long ago some of these releases were. Like, a um, sorry, Triumph of Sutek is nearly 10 years old or will be next it's just turned nine so you know mm. nearly a decade has passed since this one and yeah i remember the fanfare the buzz around it when it was first announced i yeah. think it was at a big finish day wasn't it yeah i, I was at the big finish day and they had like, oh, you were the there wow. yeah they had the poster up for it and it was all like on the seat so you could see it um and it was just tremendous to see it there and get like a little glimpse of it um as a as a boxer i think the seventh doctor fits sutek because sutek is this grand god and the seventh doctor is this sort of almost quite you know he plays the gods he plays you know chess with them and, that. and such yeah so he's the the master manipulator so you think him and sutek are such a perfect combo and having the seventh doctor be possessed by sutek in the in the first story the premise of sutek um, which is just brilliant, and McCoy plays it wonderfully, the sort of sinister edge to him. Um, and the reason why he's possessed becomes later apparent throughout the story. Um, but yeah, I mean, it this... also works oh, perfectly for Bernie Summerfield as well, doesn't it? Because mm. she is, of course, an archaeologist. But not only yes. that, one of her um, key areas was Mars. Hmm. And, so, you know, with a pyramid on Mars uh, that was holding Sutek in place down on Earth, it does sort of uh, make sense that these two would eventually cross swords. And um, Yeah, I think they do play off very well against each other. And I think there's a great scale to this box set mm. um, because you have sort of them in the 1940s and you have you know the 27th century then you have 2015 so it's all over the place with the second eye of horus you know and trying to trap sutek all over again um but yeah it's a, it's a grand it's a grand box set yeah i mean i do remember that the final part didn't yes quite do it for me i think that was where perhaps it got a bit too big for its own boots i or think that that's the yeah. thing with the sutek stories on big finish and i think we may don't want to be negative but i feel like it could happen with empire of death when you've got a, a villain like c tech it's whatever. almost always going to be a cop-out ending isn't it yeah it's like you know and it's often the way with russell as well where he will build up this huge threat and write himself into a corner and have to come out with a uh russell x machina to solve yes. it but yeah i mean we're staying positive for now because what a good time I had watching Legend of Ruby Sunday. A story I had a good time with uh, was a fourth drug adventure, the penultimate sort of story in the fourth drug adventure series seven, which was Kill the Doctor and Age of Sutek. 
Mm. Um, these are available. Yeah, individually, these are available for download. Uh, currently, all of these stories are on sale. This sale ends uh, midnight on the twenty-first of June, or well, the twentieth of June going into the twenty-first of June. Whatever you count midnight as for the, if you count it as the first minute of the day or the last minute of the day before. I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. Uh, you have a couple of days to get this. Uh, but yeah, these stories are now on sale. I think individually for download or these two also come as a box set with uh, a physical box set alongside Shadow of London uh, Shadow and of Bad, Lon Pen Bad yeah. Penny. Two stories which don't feature City Tech, but I don't think they're too bad. No, they're pretty pretty good, but I think um, Kill the Doctor is probably my personal favourite of this set. And it's interesting how similar this story mm. is to um, Legend of Ruby Sunday, as you have Sutek, somewhat running a tech company here. Um, yeah, he's influencing a female tech billionaire, isn't he? Although this yes. is taking place on a, another planet. This is Drummond. Planet Drummond. Mm. Which has a bit of a ancient Egyptian style aesthetic going on at the time, isn't it? Mm. That's that's the fashion that's in vogue uh, when the Doctor and Leela in this story visit. Uh, and I mean, the cover of Kill the Doctor is rather wonderful with the fourth Doctor and this little Star Wars style speeder bike. Yes, yeah. Um, and you have them sort of zooming around, um, being chased by people who are being who are possessed by Sutex mind control through these little handheld devices um, yeah. whereas Leela's got her own little side quest because I think 5% of the population are homeless and Leela's starting a, her own little uprising for the homeless people yeah I mean uh, the uh, people who can't use technology for whatever reason I think it's something to do with the fingerprints or something it was yeah that rings like, a bell yeah technology just doesn't work for them uh and so lena sort of gets to band them together to help fight sutek in the end uh who again is this incredibly powerful force here and it's nice seeing Leela go toe to toe with him at one point and i think louise jameson and gabriel wolf play off each other tremendously for that hmm but, and i yeah. think this creates such sort of grand imagery it's like we say tom baker on that wonderful um sort of hover bike thing and then you've got this sort of grand sort of sail barge mm. of like this floating pyramid on this barge with like the the mommies and sutek there it's yeah it's very evocative for your imagination this one yeah i mean this one also features uh eleanor crooks who is currently playing the fourth doctor and seventh doctor companion naomi cross uh but here this was i believe her first time working alongside tom baker where she's playing a different character mm. kendra uh, and so it's funny seeing her here now with that hindsight of oh she's going to become a companion one day but yeah i think that's pretty much all we all we can say on sutex audio adventures were on sale yeah i mean they've got there's an interesting sort of trap to them in that they're both picking up kind of off the end of Pyramids of Mars. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't have to listen to both of these to understand the full story. You can sort of pick up either, really, or both. And they do both work together as well. But I think, off, as is often the way, I think Axos is the key example of uh, Big Finish Returning yes. Villains. They've got to keep these things somewhat accessible to people. Like, you don't want to say, oh, here's an audio drama. But you've got to listen to this, this, and this from however many years ago to understand it. Like, you know, they don't want that barrier to entry for new listeners. Uh, sounds so... the last day says otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, certainly. When it comes to Axos as a key example, how many times has it escaped uh, the spice time loop it's been caught in? Mm, so many. Put back there. Yeah, And that's sort of all done so that people go in with only that knowledge of classic who from that story thinking oh well this is where it was left off and so that's where it picks up and it's sort of the same with Sutek but I mean, it's not been as bad because it's only been two stories but yeah I think there is certainly a 
something a problem that big finish runs into there sometimes yeah you've wow. got to put everything back in the same box as it was left yeah but you know russell doesn't have such limitations no no he doesn't so fingers crossed empire of death is the ending we all hope and we get some great moments between gabriel wolf and shooty gatwa mm. i mean which of the two uh two tech audios is your favorite do you think I would have to say it would be the fourth Doctor one. Hmm. Yeah, I think there's something about the fourth Doctor one. Uh, it certainly brings it. It sort of feels full it... circle. Yeah, that's true. Although I do kind of prefer when bringing back classic villains to have them face off against different Doctors. Mm -hmm. And I think particularly the seventh Doctor was a strong choice to go up against Sutek. That seems like a perfect combo. Yeah, I don't know, just something makes me like the fourth Doctor one more. Maybe it's it probably is down to the ending, it sticks the landing a bit more. Yeah. I think it... yeah, Triumph of Sutek has higher highs, but it also has lower lows. So yeah, if if I could only pick up one, I'd say go for the fourth doctor. All one writer's vision as well, whereas Triumph of Sutek is sort of spread out across four different writers. And I, you can kind of tell that sometimes when you're listening to the overall story. Thank so... you all for watching. Let us know which of the two you prefer if you've listened to them both. Uh, or which of the two perhaps interests you more if you haven't. Or which yeah. one are you re revisiting with the hype of mm. Sutek's return? Yeah. Let us know all your thoughts on Sutek on audio and beyond. And we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoy Empire of Death. Why do you still run? There is nothing more that you can do. Return to me. I will allow you the gift of seeing my rebirth before you die.